I just want to make a quick video showcasing a new build that I've been playing in my place. Ah, playthrough, sorry for that, I've been getting hiccups and it hasn't been able to stop. Anyway, it's the Magician. This is a pretty strong mid-game build. People who, you know, want to stay away from stuff and AFK in the back and let your minions do everything. This is the build for you. You're gonna want... Scavenge. Next, you're gonna want Explosive Familiars. Now, you may not know where to get Explosive Familiars from, and this is from the Shopkeeper. You can buy it for 1,600 coins. It'll be fairly easy to gain. And the scavenge is obviously from the rat, and so then you should already have that. Next, we can have dodge whatever you want in this position. You need scavengers because this build is going to use a ton of mana, but in dungeons you're going to be killing mobs and they're going to be dropping a ton of health. These health is going to regain your mana. You're going to have infinite mana to just infinitely summon. What's next, explosive familiars? You're going to have a ton of familiars. And, you know, who doesn't like extra damage? You're going to be summoning so many that extra damage and explosions is going to be so much value out of it. Plus, in dungeons when there's light mobs and you don't want to walk up to melee, the explosion will disable their shield anyway. You know, pick a card, gain mana a lot too. So, you know, if you need it and there's no food, you can just walk in, punch them. It's I'm summoning the familiars again and you'll be back to full mana. The whole reason I've dodged is literally because I just want to jump, run through mobs sometimes and just to break that. You're also about letting my familiars do it, but you know, this slot is openly free to anything you want to do. This is build is especially strong in dungeons like the old robot. It was one of the main dungeons to collect another crystal shard. And for now, I'll showcase some clips for you guys to see how strong this build is. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and good luck playing it because it's quite fun. You know, it's a very safe build in mid game around mid level 20s is when you start doing it. You can honestly do it without explosive animals too. You can, you only just need scavenge to do this. So you can, that's how you run this build prior to level 20 and two passives. Oh uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this build and see ya.